Meanwhile, for one southern Indiana city, things are not looking good. For the first time anyone can remember, city officials in Vincennes are laying off employees. The city had once 146 employees, but that number had fallen to 126. Now, another six workers were told their jobs have been eliminated. News 10's Mike Grant continues tonight's Economy Watch with details. The manpower at the Vincennes Street and Sanitation Department has dropped from 32 workers just a couple of years ago to 19. The last six workers let go as part of a cost-cutting move by City Hall. It wasn't performance oriented, it wasn't politically oriented, it was can we do this better? Vincennes, like a lot of southern Indiana cities, has taken quite a beating on its tax revenues over the last few years. In fact, Mayor Baldwin says the city will now be operating on two and a half million dollars less than it was when he came into office. You know, the mayor and the council have been handed a pretty tough bill of goods in terms of cuts we have to make with the, the current tax revenues. Uh, so at some point, uh, layoffs are inevitable. The mayor, though, says these layoffs are less about the budget and more about giving the taxpayer more bang for the buck. Even though it helps us cope with the uh, constrictions of the new budget guidelines, this is a pledge that I made when I before I became mayor was to look at the city, how we do business, and see if we can streamline the operation to save the taxpayers money. The mayor has no plans to make any cuts in public safety departments like the fire and police, but he won't rule out future layoffs in the rest of the city. If we can do something with five people that before we were doing with ten, we're going to do it with five. In Vincennes, I'm Mike Grant, News 10. Vincennes officials say part of the cuts came from a deal struck with a private trash company that will now handle the city's recycling program.